Greetings, I am Pillar Nexus, the Ancient Gladiator, today with an episode of Sales Pitch. Today, featuring Mech Warriors, Battletech meets Warriors. Where's this idea coming from? I just had this random ass thought this morning of just what if Warriors, but Mech Warriors? It, it was a silly pun on Mech Warriors, so. Going into this, um, so instead of the usual dice of uh, creatures and spells, uh, we'll be uh, max with our attack, defense, control, which we'll explain later, and we will ask for it if they have a special effect. Instead of spells, it's tactics, and they'll work like spells, you know, attach or use and discard. But also the, the usual basic stuff of liquidity and pawns and portals, except, you know, liquidity will effectively be like sea bills. Um, pawns will be like this house on our guard. <laughs> and uh, instead of portal, it'll be like dropship. But otherwise, we'll be functioning the same. Um, so next we'll have a control value. Control value is needed for locations, which I'll explain later, uh, based on our weight class. Uh, light mechs are half, medium is one, heavy is two, assault is three. And then like couriers, there'll be the variants, uh, the loyal version, the salvage version, which will be cheaper, but not as cool. And mercenary versions, which will be more expensive, but maybe have some more interesting things going for them. And setting up, there'll be there'll now be border cards between um, each pair of players. My my dream for this is that there's that this game will go to five players to kind of reflect the uh, succession wars concept. But yeah. Between each player, um, a border card with three locations, and then one of each mech weight class, light, medium, heavy, assault, and one tactic per border, so that for each player you've got access to eight mechs and two tactics. But the eight you have access to will be different from someone else's. But Two people sharing a border will have access to the same max and tactics. So locations. At the start of your turn, your max that you know are still in play will gain control. Um, you'll com uh, add up the combined control value of your max and move. Um, you'll pull the control marker closer. Uh, based on how much control there is and how much it takes to go up to the next level. So let's say it was one on your opponent's side and you have two control. That would be enough to move it to your the one on your side. Um, if you had five, it would be one, two, three, four to get it to the three, but not enough to reach the six. Uh, if you actually had enough control value or the max to pull control at least one space closer to you, then those max get discarded. As they would in couriers if they scored. So actually playing, there's checking for victory first. You'll have to start your turn with 20 plus control. That way your opponents have time to try and stop you. Um, you'll have to secure then you'll secure the control of the locations, use the drawn dice from last turn, resolve skirmishes as usual, and then draw the dice for next turn so you have time to think over, okay, what am I going to do? <laughs> yeah. As a, maybe an introductory thing, might move the check victory to after securing control, and then start at like, and play to like 10, just to introduce people to the game and Maybe drop it to like two locations a piece. Um, 
something else including as an idea is it's like uh, certain locations have certain um, effects or something. Yeah. It's basically couriers with a, a few extra steps involved and a more kind of fighting your neighbors type of approach. Again, reflecting the succession wars. Maybe like having a scenario where specific um, players have specific mechs on certain borders. But yeah. It's just a silly thing that just popped in my head and I was wanted to write it down. I figured why not make a video out of that. So I do want to credit the original game creators. Uh, Couriers um, by Mike Elliott and Aaron Lang, published by WizKids. I've covered this one before. It's a good game of dice and fun. I do recommend it. And uh, I was going to credit Battletech. Uh, Forrest Brown, L.R. Bush Leeper, and Jordan Weissman, originally published by FASA. Um, amusingly, um, uh, Battletech would end up under WizKids previously in the form of Mech Warrior Dark Game. Or based on the clicky system established in Mage Knight. Yeah. It was, I, I still fondly remember the game, even if the hit wasn't the best representation of Battletech, but I still, I still enjoyed it. I liked seeing a lot more infantry and vehicles, but, you know, there's, there's that in Battletech too. It's just, I think, good to get the understanding of mechs down first. Yeah, creator credits are from Board, Board Game Geek. If there's any issues here, um, let me know. But yeah, that's my sales pitch for for Mech Warriors. Uh, if it sounds like a cool idea that you know somebody wants to go forward with, I hope they go forward with it because it's it would just be an interesting approach and. I think it would be fun. Most of all, I just want a five-player Warriors kind of game. And also a game of, that's more like sci-fi than the fantasy stuff. There's so much fantasy. I want to see more sci-fi stuff. So, so yeah. My Warriors, maybe it'll be a thing. Maybe not. We'll see. Hopefully someone can get the licensed stuff together and figure it out. All right. Thanks for listening and watching. This has been Pillar Nexus, and I'll see you next time.